All right, well, as you can see, we are in round two, and we are tied 1-1 because I have tried recording this series twice. I figured out the issue every single time. I Games one and two, I tried recording. The game audio was at, like, max. Like, you couldn't hear me. All you heard was the game audio. I was talking, but I was getting overpowered. I finally figured it out. It was in my OBS because I bought a new capture card. So, the capture card audio, it, it, I bought an Elgato, I had a Razor. So, the capture card audio was at max. I finally fixed it. We can actually record. So, as you can see around the league, Sixers are up 3 0 on the Celtics. Looks like the winner of this Bucks Cavs series will face the Sixers. Um, the Lakers are up 3 0 on the Nuggets, and the Blazers are up 2 1 on the Timberwolves. Now, if we go back, let's go to game one. We won by 11 points. You didn't see it, but as you can see by the box score, it was a close game throughout the entire game up until the fourth quarter. Giannis had 36, Milton had a great game, so did Holiday. Harold dropped 76 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, 5 steals, and 4 blocks, shooting terrible from 3, and I had no help. Now, in Game 2, um, was a different story. Um, I had somewhat help from Jared Allen and um, Buddy Heald and even Terrence Ross, but Giannis dropped 43. Larry Nance didn't do his job, Middleton had a good game, Holiday once again balled out, Lonzo has not been able to guard him, and their bench showed up. That's exactly what happened. Giannis was unstoppable. I couldn't guard Middleton. 53-point triple-double. Actually shot well for three. Allen has been having a great series. Buddy Heald and Terrence Ross, I guess, are fine. But Colin Sexton has been abysmal. I believe he's on the bench now. We're going to show the rotation real quick before we get jumped to this game. Yeah, I moved Colin Sexton to the bench just because of how bad he's been. Buddy Heald is going to start at the shooting guard position. We'll see how that goes. I never wanted to start him because he's been so good off the bench. But one thing I will know, as I said in the videos that you didn't see, this offseason or next season, there will be another star slash all-star player beside me, and he will be at the guard position. So either Colin Sexton is gone or Alonzo Ball is gone. Maybe both has gone. Maybe Buddy Hill will start for us next season. I don't know. But big changes are happening to this team next season. Jared Allen will running at the power forward because Larry Nance cannot guard Giannis. So without further ado, let's get into this game that we can finally play and record. All right, here we are in Cleveland. Like I said in those two videos you never saw, um, we have similar records. They have won 46 games. They are the fourth seed. No, the fifth seed. And we won 43 games as the eighth seed. So record-wise, we're close to being even. Roster-wise, it's the Bucks. They're currently in the finals right now. So it's not that, you know, favorable for us. Um, matchup has always been Chris Milton versus Harold, I mean. It can't be Allen versus Giannis, so Middleton versus Harold is the match we gotta look forward to. And freaking Larry Nance already doing better. He won the tip. Jared Allen lost the tip both times in um games one and two. Jared Allen, give it back to me. I got freaking Demarcus Cousins on me. I'm gonna shake and bake here. Go right to the rack. Giannis is there, but I'm gonna get the layup to start off the game. This court I don't like the jerseys, but this court's pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. All right, it's been a while since I talked, but it's a one-point lead for the Bucks after Drew Holiday just knocked down a three. Oh, buddy. Buddy, why would you pass it? Shoot the three, dude. And it's very early. Bucks have a one-point lead. I have literally every single one of our points because of stuff like that happening. Um, very early release. I thought Giannis was going to pull that. Um, I guess I've been playing our right defense on Middleton as I thought he was going to pull. Yep, so much for that. Yeah, I spoke too soon. Um, Giannis hasn't had the ball much. So that's good. Jared Allen's doing his job, I guess. And I'm going to cut right to the basket. Yep. Easy bucket. I am. I All I can do is score right now. All right. We're on a fast break here. I have been not. I'm one for six from three. Terrence Ross in the paint. That's going to be easy. And one. Could have kicked it out to Isaiah Thomas. But no matter what, we're getting a three-point play here. Terrence Ross, just please hit the free throw, my guy. Please. Terrence Ross, 70%. He, he of course, he would miss it. My teammates suck. Pat Connington wide open for three. No one can play defense now all of a sudden. They're going to, they're going to, yep, Giannis in the post on me. Come on, come on. And, yep, that was easy. Yeah, I did nothing. He shimmied up. Oh, you sly, sly son of a gun. All right, Giannis, you have your lockdown takeover, and I do not like that because if I go in the paint, I'm probably going to get blocked. Oh, or if I do a move like that, I'm not getting blocked. I have 20 out of 24 points. That is just absurd, dude. 20 seconds left in this first quarter. I might as well just keep, you know, talking because I'm probably going to get subbed out to start off the second. Brian Forbes is going to run out the clock. This is like a second difference. 26-24. 
Harold's got 20 of the 24 points for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Bryn forms right to Giannis. He's, yup, he's going to post fade. He misses, though. Just yeet it, Mike Buscala. Ah, he almost knocks it down. All right, 26-24, down by two, going into the second. Um, I'm, I might as well. I think I'm getting stopped out. There's no way they're going to keep me in the game. But it's only a two-point lead for the Bucks. I mean, we're staying in this thing. Uh, come on. This takes way too long. I don't want to hear Giannis talk. Yeah, what's up, Giannis? Uh, yep, I like you as a player, blah, blah, blah. All right, I'm getting subbed out here. Let's see what happens. And we're down by five. You know what? I'll take it. And I'm back at power forward guarding Giannis. Sick. I just got an and one. I can tie the game here at the free throw line. Uh, I think we... No, Brandon Forbes got brought in the game. Was Lonzo... Oh, yeah. I'm guessing Lonzo's been in the game for us. I didn't see him when I got subbed in, but... We have an interesting line. Actually, we have our starters besides Jared Allen, actually, now that I think about it. Why is Mike Muscala playing over Allen? Oh, because there's four minutes left in the second. How did I not notice that? And Mike Muscala with the steal. And, ah, oh, Gerald with the block. Get the ball. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. Buddy was like two for seven on this game, too. He's playing terrible. That was a perfect defensive possession for us. Mike Muscala stealing the ball from Giannis. Me getting the block on DiVincenzo. It could have gone more perfect than that. Giannis going to the three-point line. DiVincenzo, give me that. Lonzo ball up to Harold. Johnson and the Cavs have the lead. I almost said the Lakers. The Cleveland Cavaliers regain the lead. 41-39. Giannis is probably going to ruin it. We got about a minute left in this second quarter. We have a one-point lead still. Uh, Giannis has been wrecking havoc, kind of. Uh, oh, man. Only if he got caught in that. All right, who's open? Give it to Buddy Heald. Give it to Buddy. Give it to Buddy. Oh, my God. I know Buddy's shooting terrible this game, but you got to give it to him. He's open. He's the open man. Who's open? Mike Muscala is. Just just pop it. And it was a very early release. What else is new? I hate this game so much. Why is every single AI shot very early or very late? It doesn't make sense. Great defense, Terrence. I got the rebound, like always. 24 seconds left. I'm just going to run right to the rim. Run right to the rim. 37 points in the first half. We have a 3 point lead we have we didn't even run our start we don't even have jared allen in the game uh terrence ross is here I, yeah yeah terrence ross is and mike muscala are placing jared allen who else is replaced am i crazy lonzo buddy healed me oh larry nance larry nance all right seven seconds left um let's see don't go no one okay mike muscala goes right to the paint of course he does i'm going up for it that's an easy i missed oh my god this game is top tier one point lead should be a three point lead Going into halftime. Give me that. Give me that. I get the steal. Who's on the break? Who's running with me? Larry. Oh, Larry. 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 Think about this. For three, it's a green. Seven point lead for the Cavaliers. Starting to go on a mini run. Uh, Buddy Heel just hit a green before that. I think it was on a fast break. Uh, Jared Allen got the steal. Cavaliers on a small run here. Can we keep it up? They're trying to get Middleton the ball or Giannis in the post. But we got Jared Allen on him. I mean, I'm confident. Jared Allen's been doing pretty solid tonight. Drew Holiday to the paint. It's blocked by Jared Allen. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Jared Allen is playing great to start this third quarter. Let's see what they're going to do. They're going to have to get a quick shot off or give it to Giannis in the paint. Or Middleton, I'm guessing. They got to give it to some. Oh, and Chris Middleton's wide open because I'm stuck. I'm stuck. He missed, though, and I got the rebound over Giannis. I'm going straight to the rack. It's KCP in there, and that's good. 47 for Harold, and it's a nine-point lead. Only missed seven shots in the night, and I think all of them but one have been three. All right, I'm getting subbed out after giving us an 11-point lead. Let's hope the bench keeps it. Eight-point lead. All right, I will definitely take that. And Giannis, Norm Middleton are in the game. They have their full bench unit out here, and we have practically our starters as Bobby Portis with the green, making it a six-point game. Yeah, they're shooting at 45%. We, we are playing really well here. Now that Middleton and Giannis are in the game, maybe I, maybe I can just get some of my assists up. Lonzo Ball in the paint. Yep. Look. You're, you're joking. You're joking. There is no way he just missed that. I give up. All right, there's five seconds left in the third. We're up by 10. I just noticed that there were five seconds left. And that's not going in. 78-88. We have a 10 point lead going into the fourth quarter this is huge i don't know if they're gonna i'd imagine they're gonna start me off in the fourth quarter that's been you know the theme here let's find out because if they don't we gotta pray that our bench keeps this lead because 
Anything can happen. Once Giannis and Middleton come in the game, it might be GG's. They are going to keep me in the game. Uh, and they do have Giannis back in. They have their entire starting unit out. So this is going to be interesting. Seven minutes left. We have a 12-point lead, you know. Colin Sexton hit... Oh, Colin... No, 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 no. Don't do that. I kind of want to bait Dante DiVincenzo into... Not fouling me. I kind of wanted to bait him into leaving Sexton open. Uh, but I guess that didn't work because the pick and rolls are not working to get people open. Uh, like right now, I'm going to run a pick and roll with Larry Nance Jr. He doesn't really get that open. But it is Middleton on him, and he's going to green it. I'm, uh, I'm trying to hunt for a triple-double. We have a 14-point lead. We have a bit of leeway here. I've done enough scoring. I've done enough overall. So at the least I get, or the least I deserve, is a freaking triple-double. I mean... I have 14, 15 rebounds. I almost just got a steal. Eight assists, 59 points. I think I have one or two. I think I have two blocks in this game. So I have been doing a lot. Giannis, he's going to green that. That's the second time he's hit a shot like that. And just like that, the Bucks cut it to a four-point game because no one can hit a shot, dude, on my team. I can't be expected to do everything. This is just absurd. I have to. I forgot Jared Allen's not playing center. I forgot Jared Allen isn't playing center. Oh my god, this is this is messing with me. This is terrible. My teammates can't hit shots, and I'm committing too many turnovers. It went from a 12-point lead to a 2-point lead within seconds because that man right there, Colin Sexton, can't hit a shot. Two minutes, 50 left. I don't care about this triple double anymore. I don't. This is me trying to win the game now. This is me just going to abuse 2K. And try and win the game. I don't care about the triple-double. If I get it, I get it. I've missed eight shots all night. And five of them have been three-pointers. They need a timeout. We've hit 12 three-pointers as a team. I've hit six by myself. That's just sad. And just like that, yeah. Kicks it out to Middleton, who's left wide open. Honestly, he just gave up a wide-open dunk. I don't know why he did that. Um, I can't cut to the basket. Lon Lonzo. 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 Don't shoot. Chris Middleton with the ball. I'm playing tight defense on him. Him and Giannis are the two players I don't want. Drew Holiday, all right, fine. If Drew Holiday can beat us, I'm fine with it. Giannis pump faking. Jared Allen playing good defense. He has to pass it out to Drew Holiday. Lonzo on him. I almost get to steal Lonzo ball. Good defense, and he misses. Why is everyone cutting at the worst time? I'm going straight to the rack. I'm Bobby Portis. That's going to be a flagrant one on Bobby Portis. That's for 70. Game over. I sadly didn't get the triple-double, but we're going to get the win, and that's all that matters. Three seconds left. Giannis running up with the ball. I almost stole it there. From half court, he misses. 105-112 victory in Cleveland. We win it, staying undefeated at home in the playoffs. We're going to take a 2-1 series lead over the fifth-seeded Milwaukee Bucks. Final box score. Once again, Harold did everything. 70 points. 20 rebounds, 8 assists, 4 steals, and 3 blocks. Only missing 8 shots on the entire game. Buddy Heald had a bad game. 10 points, but he was still our second leading scorer. That is not good. Jared Allen, 8 points. He only played 27 minutes. Um, he had 2 blocks, so he played well. Um, Terrence Ross, 14 minutes, 8 points. I will take it. You might be starting next game. I don't know. Lonzo, you are, <laughs> you are so bad. What happened? The first round, you were hitting every shot. Now you can't hit anything. Colin Sexton, you're still terrible. Larry Nance, terrible. Isaiah, terrible. Isaac Okoro, you might need more minutes, to be honest. This rotate, I need to fix it. I need to figure out what to do. I might put myself at power forward next game and send Larry Nance to the bench. Um, Giannis dropped 36. He, he was somewhat clamped, but apparently not. Middleton, though, had a quiet game for once. Only 20 points on ter not terrible, but bad shooting. And another player, Drew Holiday, actually got clamped up by Lonzo. Lonzo did his job. So that... The Milton only having 20, and Holiday actually having a bad game saved us. If not, we were screwed. We lost. So that's what we need to have Holiday have a bad game or Milton have a bad game, and we can win this series easily. But that's going to be for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.